those circumstances, I actually prefer it. It just works um, unless I really need customizability. And so as that translates to tools, like I said, you know, I feel like AWS is on the farthest end of the spectrum for most customizable. Um, but there's tools like Heroku or Sean Shout Out for Cell, Render, Netlify. These are all startups that are designed to get your apps, website and app up and running as quickly as possible with minimal complexity. Similarly, when you're doing UI, uh, Ted mentioned some of these things. You know, use libraries like Material UI or Tailwind Components, as opposed to writing your own CSS or your own Tailwind to design your own buttons. As you're choosing your web frameworks, if you were doing a monolithic backend, you might opt for something like Django or Ruby on Rails that call themselves batteries included. You get authentication um, and you get an admin console and all sorts of things that are nice for running your startup uh, without having to build it yourself like you would with, say, Flask, which I love Flask, um, but in this context, you kind of or Node Express. Similarly, if you're doing like custom machine learning, you know, you could reach for PyTorch, you could code the whole neural network, you know, at like the neuron level, or you could use something like Scikit-Learn that has a bunch of high level abstractions for machine learning models that would allow you to achieve a similar result more quickly. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the talk, 512. Any questions on coding and MVP? It's a lot of programming. Thanks for bearing with us. So moving forward, we should have some dinner here soon. And we are also going to encourage you all to uh, continue team forming. So I know a lot of folks are here and don't have ideas yet. Um, we'll give the opportunity for, for team leads to identify themselves. I guess we do that now. You know, if you're a team lead, raise your hands if you have an idea and you're looking for developers. Okay, you guys want to just go around the room really quickly? What's, what's your idea? Uh, sure, yeah, so my idea is basically a um, user programmable uh, guitar pedal. The uh, user program um, sort of UI interface though would be a um, sort of block code style programming interface so that you don't have to know C++, you don't have to know Python or whatever at a high level in order to use this, and so that makes it accessible for your everyday user. Cool hardware product. I think you were next. Yeah, um, we have an app called Lily for Sonoma Advertising. Basically, unlock the power of Sonoma Advertising for a seamless social impact. Um, for navigation, it's not possible to actually have to do it. So what you do is you give our app the a topic that you want to cover, and through Sonoma Advertising, the person that you target comes up to your comes up with their own conclusion through that, and you have to implement for this conclusion. And what skills are you? So I'm making jet fuel for writing, and it's essentially just going to make writing or creating blog articles and whatever kind of writing you need really easy and really good. Cool. Is uh, AI going to be Absolutely. involved? Yeah, okay. Gonna let us, we're going to do these two. Is also. there anyone else with an idea? Um, <clears throat> Um, 
I, I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to do this idea or join a team yet. But um, my idea is <clears throat> there's a, a company called Social Supply, a local um, party promoter um, pretty much company. And I run the, the tech side of that company. And our biggest expense is Ticketmaster and Eventbrite. So um, I've been doing a prototype for a while now. So some of you guys have seen it already. And I'm just looking, looking to build this possibly if um, I don't join another team. It's basically just the MVP is going to be making a way so that um, people can buy tickets and then come to the event and scan them. We're, we're really just trying to focus on solving that problem before adding other things that we may eventually add to it as well. So the only thing I will call out is uh, hopefully you all have seen our giant check sitting over here. This will go to the winner. But if you want to receive this check, because <laughs> we're live streaming nature, I think we should be great. If you want to receive this check, you cannot start with existing code. So if you like got a prototype, um, I think we let it fly if you started from scratch. Okay. If you've coded the same thing before, but you cannot use any existing code if you want to be on the podium. What if it's just written? written down, but you haven't wrote any code, but it's just like, Yeah, um, yeah, you, you can plan. You, you know, can, uh, figure. Like, if you want to, like, sketch it out, um, oh, no. you got guess if you want to do some, like, design, you know, yeah. you know, you do, like, you, but uh, definitely no code, no code. Okay. I have a question. What if there's, like, existing new app design that, not that code, but, like, we'll probably let it fly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly strict about you can't start with an app. Cool, so I will let Hunter take it in a sec and tell you about dinner, but final note, uh, please make sure your idea is shared in the idea of Discord. Make sure that you've got your Discord handle because there's folks who are not in this room right now that are going to be participating throughout the weekend. There's a lot that can only make it on like Saturday or Sunday, Looks but still might be down to help you. So make sure on the idea spreadsheet you have your Discord handle so those folks will know how to find you. Find you. Make sure you've also um, shared your idea in the ideas channel created a new channel called Introductions, so if you're looking for a team, you can use that channel right now and post a little bit about yourself uh, and see if you can facilitate some, some last minute connections. Um, you've also now seen all the team leads, so you can reach out to them over dinner. Um, if, you're, uh, if you have not already, go into the UFCY channel and say you need help. I know several of you have already done that. Thank you for doing that. Fareed and I are going to be splitting up the remainder of teams and like circling around with you all at whatever time you need help. Uh, and you, if you ever need our help, like whether we're here or not, you can reach out through that channel. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure it's on. Oh, how are you going, folks? Yeah, let's get a round of applause for all the awesome In about 10 minutes at 5:30, dinner will be served in the big communal table right out front of our space. The Crop Foundation is a nonprofit. They're doing a dinner tonight, lunch tomorrow, dinner tomorrow, and then uh, hors d'oeuvres, light stuff, uh, Sunday for the final showcase. Uh, tonight we have tacos. We had a impressive showing at programming. Awesome. Everybody that can make it in person as well as virtual. So I hate running out of food. So we have awesome food from the Crop Foundation, which mission is to empower high school students through culinary arts. Um, we also have pizza coming at 6 o'clock if for some reason we happen to run out of tacos. So if you uh, don't go starving, there are soft drinks and sparkling water in the refrigerator in the kitchen. Uh, Help yourself to that. I would encourage, it's kind of cold out, but spread out. You can hang out, ground floor, mezzanine, and there's a rooftop if you haven't been to assembly before. It'll have twinkly lights and look very cold this time of day if you want a change of pace. And maybe we'll reconvene maybe 5 till 6.30 um, to go over some of the less exciting but also equally important things to ensure everybody has full access to all of the information and run a show to help make the weekend a success. So about five minutes or so and tacos will be uh, available for you to create. So an immersive experience there. If you have any questions about drinks, anything like that, um, come find me and there are a lot of other people 
that are equally qualified to answer those questions. We will try to reconvene 625 for a very brief amount of info so we can kick off building at 630. Um, we'll break on three. One, two, three. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, I hope that the audio was okay. Um, this is day one. This is Bo. Uh, you're going to be seeing um, a lot of his um, footage helping me out as well. Um, yeah, I wasn't really prepared. I probably should have bought some kind of microphone to be able to um, show you guys everything. But this is day one. We'll keep you posted on if we're doing a ticket in the app or if we are joining some of these awesome ideas out here. Um, this is assembly, 400 Grammy Street, if you're local. Come by, come check us out. We have food, pack a couple of stuff. This is it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.